Ukrainian armed forces have disrupted Russian attacks and gained territorial gains in a counterattack in the frontline town of Vovchansk in northeastern Kharkiv region, German Bild news outlet reported. According to an analytical piece published by the newspaper, in recent days, Ukrainian troops have partially driven out Russian troops from the center of Vovchansk city, after its northern part was occupied by Russian troops in mid-May. Only about a quarter of the city's territory is under unambiguous Russian control. A week ago it was almost half. It seems that the Ukrainians have managed to advance there and oust the Russians. Russians are losing ground and are increasingly resorting to destroying the city with the help of MLRS, heavy artillery, and glide bombs, the newspaper reads. According to Bild, although the invaders' advance slowed down in other directions, Russian troops have managed to take about half of the village of Storitsa, west of Vovchansk in Kharkiv. Russia opened up a new front in the war after launching a surprise offensive in Kharkiv region. Since then Russia has ramped up its attacks in the area and made territorial gains in the area. Russia launched a deadly attack on Kharkiv in late May, killing seven people and injuring several others. Russian attacks also targeted Kharkiv city's transport infrastructure and a municipal unit vital for the city's life support systems. The Russian army has opened a new section of the front in the Zaporizhia region, east and west of Nesteryanka. Ukrainian deep state reports about this. It is noted that this advance could potentially reach our rear, which protects Rabatino and Orkov, a key point of Ukrainian defense on the Zaporizhia front. Further to the south, Ukrainian forces are coming under pressure southeast of Zaporizhia, one of the few areas where they achieved success, albeit modest in size, in last summer's counteroffensive. Both Russian military bloggers and Ukraine's deep state map report small Russian advances into a pocket of recaptured Ukrainian territory. Before the Kharkiv offensive, Russia had been largely focusing its offensive capabilities in the east, where it had been inching forward since October 2023 as Ukraine's highly anticipated counteroffensive floundered last summer. Russian troops have made steady progress westwards in the direction of Pokrovsk, which serves as a vital military hub in Ukraine's war effort. Ukraine's frontline brigades are clinging on as they desperately await munitions from allies and fresh recruits to provide some much-needed manpower. Moscow's troops are aiming to bring its troops within tube artillery range of Zaporizhia and Kharkiv city. Along the southern front, the battle is on to recapture villages liberated during Ukraine's counteroffensive last year and push further into Ukrainian territory. Trump breaks fundraising record after guilty verdict. Donald Trump's re-election campaign has reportedly raised over $34 million since the former U.S. president was found guilty on 34 felony counts in New York in a trial he denounced as a politically motivated witch hunt. A Manhattan jury agreed with prosecutors that Trump's reimbursements to his lawyer for an alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels amounted to fraudulent bookkeeping and 2016 election interference. I was convicted in a rigged political witch hunt trial. I did nothing wrong. A fundraising email sent by Trump's campaign after the verdict was announced. But with your support at this moment in history, we will win back the White House and make America great again. A statement from the Trump campaign proved a prediction by Republican strategist Matthew Bartlett that the GOP base would donate a million dollars for every count of the New York indictment, correct, if not conservative. From just minutes after the sham trial verdict was announced, our digital fundraising system was overwhelmed with support and despite temporary delays online because of the amount of traffic. President Trump raised $34.8 million from small dollar donors, campaign advisors Chris Lasivita and Susie Wiles announced. Not only was the amount historic, but 29.7% of yesterday's donors were brand new to the WinRed platform, they added. Crooked Joe Biden and the Democrats 
with their election interference political witch hunt, have awakened the MAGA movement like never before. The $34.8 million haul was nearly double the biggest ever recorded by the Trump campaign, Wiles and La Civita added. Winred was so overwhelmed by the new donors that it briefly crashed on Thursday evening. According to Politico, Trump had only $49 million in cash at the end of April compared to President Joe Biden's $84 million war chest. U.S. laws limit the maximum individual contributions to a campaign to 3300